Hi everyone, I want to show you a bit about how to use the Galali Dictionary, Galali Mulgana uh, Dictionary app. This is the iPad version, but the version for iPhone and Android phone are basically the same. They look a little different, but the the underlying what's in the dictionary and so on is uh, is identical. So when we go to Galali Mulgana, we get a list of words and we can scroll down and see all the words in the dictionary. There's about a thousand words there so far. We're still working on the format of the dictionary. We're still adding examples and things like that. Uh, we're still adding some words as well as we go through some of the sources. We find new words that uh, we didn't have in the earlier sources as well. Now you can look at the list from Galilee to English uh, like this one, or you can go to the English side of it. Uh, there's a button at the bottom where you just click on English and that will give you the, uh, the uh, words from English to, to Galilee. Uh, we also have the alphabet thing at the side. So if you're looking for something say that starts with N, you can uh, click on the N. If you want to click on something with F, uh, your D, et cetera, et cetera, you, you get the idea. Um, now the, uh, different forms of the words, uh, of course, well, so having a list of words is kind of useful if you just want to know what the word is, but if you want to use the word in a sentence, that's not so useful. Um, this dictionary also has some of the word endings that we've talked about in the Galilee blog. Uh, about um, about grammar and so on. And we've got a lot of example sentences too. So let's have a look at, uh, for instance, let's go back to the Galilee side of things and go to this entry, Baka. And so let me just go through what's in a uh, in an entry for the for the dictionary. And most of the entries don't have all of the information possible, but most of them have have something. Okay, so, and I should be able to annotate my screen as well to, to draw on things to highlight what we're doing. Okay, so first of all, we have the head word. So the head word here is bakka. Um, and we have the meaning. The meaning's actually down here to send. It has that, that dot. Um, original orthography means that that's the spelling system that we got the word from in the first place. Uh, so orthography just is a fancy term for spelling. We have different sources for Galilee that spell words in a lot of different ways. And so what we've tried to do with the dictionary is both have a single consistent spelling so that it's easy to know how the words should be pronounced, uh, what you need to say when you want to say that word. But also we want to be faithful and true to the original sources as well, because we're still learning things about Galilee and how it was uh, spoken and what sort of things are recorded in the writing systems. Um, as you've seen from the Galilee blog, the uh, way people have written Aboriginal languages in Australia is sometimes quite inconsistent, but they also tell us things about how the words were pronounced from the way they write the words. And that's useful information as well. So we're uh, including both the original spelling system, the original orthography, and our standard spelling as well. Sometimes these are the same, like in the case of Bakka here, but in other cases uh, they might be somewhat different. Okay, so we have um, the original form and the uh, and the the head word. This little two here just means that there's another word Bakka that has a different meaning. And in fact, if we go back to the uh, previous um, Bakka entry, we see that there's another word Bakka, which was also written Bakka, uh, which means to hide. Okay, so but we were talking about the Bakka that meant send. And we think these are two different words. Um, they just happen to sound the same, just like English has words like bank, where it's the bank where you put your money or the bank as in the side of a river, a river bank. And they're the same words, they're spelt the same, but they mean different things. So we think bakka send and, um, uh, and the other bakka is like that as well. Okay, so we have uh, an example here. So sometimes we have a short example and sometimes it's a bit longer. This one's just a, a short example, bakkawari, uh, which means send down. Okay, and we've tried to include a lot of examples in the dictionary so that you can see how these words are used in sentences. And in fact, you might want to uh, think about the sentences and like memorize a sentence and then you can use those words in sentences and you can use the sentences themselves. 
We also have a reference um, and a source. These are things you don't really need to know about. Um, the source is the Galilee sentence list. Um, these should actually be displaying the original speakers. Um, so the Galilee sentence list came from Charlie Phillips. Uh, we're going to change that in the next version of the um, uh, of the dictionary to make sure that the um, the speakers are shown, uh, not that not that source. And the reference is just where in the Galilee sentence list it's uh, that this word was uh, was recorded. Okay, so this is a relatively straightforward example. What I want to do now is just show you another um, more complicated example. So I'm going to go back and look at anga, uh, which is the dative case marker. And uh, I'll go through this in a little bit more detail. Okay, so uh, here we can see that uh, the, the head word has a hyphen here at the start. And that tells you, oh, just there, sorry, I'm not very good at drawing with my mouse. <laughs> um, but uh, so the hyphen tells you this is a piece of a word. It's not a word that's used on its own, but it combines with other words. And so we'll see that all, in all of the example sentences uh, further down to, uh, to uh, see that the anga part isn't a word on its own, but it combines with other forms. Uh, we also have angani. So we have two forms of this word, and we've given both in the dictionary. Uh, they seem to mean the same thing. We're not exactly sure what the difference, are, uh, difference is, although we've got, a, got an idea, but we're not quite sure yet. Um, and so this is glossed as dative in the, uh, in the dictionary. And so a dative is a word piece that tells you uh, whether something is to something or for something. Okay, so it combines with another word um, to uh, like a like the word for plus something in English. So let's actually have a look at this uh, this second example here. So ini ngai maringa ngakanga. Okay, you're thirsty for water. So the ini bit means you. Um, ngai maringa is thirsty, and ngaka is the word for water. And the anga is our dative, so that's the for bit. Okay, so ngaka anga is for water. Okay, ngaka is the water bit, and then anga is the the for bit. Okay, so that's why this is an example in the anga uh, bit. Um, we've got the next example, muti anga, bulagaro yantagala. Okay, the two of them are going for meat. Muti is the word for meat, and so muti anga is for meat. Okay, or for the for the meat. Bulagaro means two of them, and then yanta means go, yanta gala, are going. Okay, and you can see all of these. Now, if you look through these examples, you can see that all of them actually have anga or angani in them as uh, as well. So actually, our first one has angani. Uh, so minangani, uh, sorry, minangani, uh, meaning what for or why. So that might be a useful word to know, uh, know by itself. And you can see we have quite a few examples here. Um, but the, and then at the end, we actually have a note, um, uh, semantics. Semantics means meaning. Um, I'm going to change all of these labels so they're a bit easier to see. These are the default ones that come with the dictionary, but uh, I think we could make them, make them clearer. Um, and so we can say that, as you can see from the examples, anga goes on nouns and it tells you the purpose or the reason, like what for, for the example. Um, like where someone is going for, looking for something, going for water, going to the doctor, uh, going for the doctor. Okay, so I think that should be it to give you an idea about how the Galilee Dictionary works. Um, please browse through the entries. You can, oh, sorry, one more thing. You can search for entries. And so if we uh, click on the, uh, what do you call it? The, uh, the thing, um, the magnifying glass at the top of the, uh, at the top of the screen, you can see that you get a, uh, a keyboard and you get to put in the word. So uh, you can search for whole words. And if you have the radio button on, it will only find the whole word. But if you turn that off, then you can search for part, uh, parts of words, pieces of words as well. And um, for the match accents and tones, that doesn't matter for us because we're not using accents or tones in the, uh, in the Galilee Dictionary. Um, so let's search for the word dog. And you can see we've got, this finds dog anywhere in the entry. Okay, so we've got quite a lot of examples here that have the word dog. So the first one is titi, uh, which is the uh, one of the Galilee words for dog. Uh, but because we search for word pieces, this doesn't find, this finds not only dog as a word, um, it also finds um, uh, dokuwarda uh, or um, gayamara, uh, which are the words for dogwood. 
and so if we went back and searched for um, search for dog, but matched only the whole words, you can see those forms don't don't show up again, uh, don't show up anymore. We don't get the dogwood forms, just the just the dog forms. Um, and we get things where the word dog is part of the uh, part of the definition, like in buntu. So buntu is the word for hair or fur, but it's also fur on a dog. And so we find the the dog uh, word there as well. So searching can be pretty useful if you want to find out how to say a word in Galilee, if we have it in the dictionary. You can search for both Galilee words and for English words. Um, so here we searched for an English word for dog, but if we search for, let's search for midi. And we'll turn the, whoops, oh yeah, sorry, this is a, a feature of the iPad that it changes the spelling to um, words that it um, it thinks are what we want to search for, uh, even though, uh, in that, so in that case, it thought that MIDI was a mistyping for Morris, and I'm sorry about that. I don't know how to fix that. Um, I will work on trying to fix that. Um, okay, so MIDI here we found in the, uh, and our different spelling uh, examples here. So we have MIDI or M-E or just with one R, um, and it's the noun dog. Okay, so I hope that gives a sense of what sorts of things you can do with the Galilee Dictionary app and how you can search for things, how you can read the entries. Please let me know if you would like to see other features, if there are things that are confusing, or if you would like to see a word added to the dictionary, we can do our best. We're making um, changes to the dictionary all the time. We're trying not to push updates to, uh, to regularly, like once a month or so, but um, we're very happy to include other uh, items in the dictionary and try and incorporate your feedback because we want it to be as useful for, for you, um, Galilee learners, as possible. Uh, so thanks very much.